Hello and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. My name is Chucky and today we're going to use some of the built-in templates from Microsoft to create these great looking 3D effects. Now this is a follow-up of the video that I did in 2007. There's a few different things that you have to do in 2016 to make these templates work. Let's go ahead and get started. Much like in my previous video, the key to making these 3D effects is finding the right template on the Microsoft site. Let's move to our file menu. Under file, let's go to new from template. You'll be presented with many templates that have all sorts of different colors and designs, but the ones that we want to find have the word picture. So we're going to search the keyword picture and see which ones come up in the search box. When the previews populate, you'll notice that what Microsoft has done, instead of giving you one single template with all the different effects, they've broken it down to single slides that have single effects. If we scroll down here, you can see that the one that I'm using is frame pictures in a row. In the Microsoft Office 2007 templates, you'll notice that this is one of many of the 3D effects that you get in the template. Now you download each slide instead of the group or package of slides. I've downloaded this frame pictures in a row. I've also downloaded this animation slide, the 3D cube, and the falling pictures. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can customize these. Much like our 2007 tutorial, we start by clicking on the image of the three different framed pictures on our slide. We right click and we go to group and we ungroup these pictures. Now it's as simple as right clicking and then changing the picture to something different. Now I'm going to go to my pictures. I have these under my pictures folder. I'm going to select one of these pictures here and as you can see it changes the picture into my picture. Now I can do that the same with all these others and last but not least I'll change this picture Once we have all these three pictures, we'll hold the command or control key down and we'll select all three of these and we will regroup them. So right click, group, and then group again. Now you'll notice that they don't look like the original slide that I had up there. And that's because we need to go into the shape format. Once we have selected that tab, we will go to the presets, click the down arrow, and select which way we want our pictures facing. Now originally they were facing this way, so I'm going to click the one that says off axis to the left. And as you can see, it put the pictures back to the way they were. Well, almost. So I'm going to go back there again, see if I can find one of these different ones that I can use right there. Now if you want to resize these, you can grab the corner, hold the shift key down and it will keep it in the correct aspect ratio and then you can center this back into the center of the slide. You have all your reflections intact and you have the slide the way you want it with the 3D. Now we'll jump to the next design underneath my window. We'll go to the falling pictures. Now I'm not going to do the same thing with this one because it's the same method. We right click and we change the picture. I'm not going to go through it with all of them. I'm just going to select one of these pictures. And as you can see, it's easy as just selecting the picture and putting it in there. Let's jump to one that's a little bit harder. Let's go to the windows and select the 3D cube. Now on this one, I'm going to scroll this down, bring it so that you can see the picture a little bit better. As with the three pictures in a row, I'm going to select my main object, right click, and then ungroup. Once it's ungrouped, I will select the picture that I want to change going to change the picture. Let's go to something in my pictures folder. Select something a little bit new. Select one of these sunflowers. As you can see the aspect ratio is a little different. It is not a square. So I'm going to have to change that. I'm going to hold the shift key down. I'm going to bring this to about the size that it was as far as the height is concerned. I'm going to change this to the same height that it was and then I'm going to move this back into place. 
Now we're going to go to the Picture Format tab. We're going to move to the Crop. Then I'm going to select this and move it until it's a square. When I'm done with that, I can click on the outside. And as you can see, I'll move this back in, that it's back to the square that it was, but it has a different picture in it. Now, if I want to put that back into a group, I hold the Command key down, and I select all the different pictures. I right-click again, and then I group these back into a single file. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to create a single picture that's broken up into three. So let's jump to that slide. There we have one that has three different pictures on it, but I'm going to use the same picture in all of them. Select one of the pictures, right click, go to change picture, then select the picture that you want. Resize this picture. Then go to Picture Format, Crop, and then Crop to the right side. When you're done, click on the outside, and then Resize if desired by holding the Shift key down. Okay, so we have this part. Now I'm going to change the picture in the center. Selecting the same picture that I had before. Resizing it by holding down the Shift key. Then going to my Crop button. Cropping it to the center. clicking outside the picture, and then resizing as necessary. Lastly, click on the left part. Lastly, click on the left picture, right click, change our picture, go down to the same photo, Resize is necessary by holding down the Shift key. Going to the Crop button and then cropping it to the left side. Click outside the photo when you're done and then resize is necessary holding down the Shift key. And there we have our picture divided into three panels. Lastly, I want to show you one with an animation. I'm going to select the zoom. This one's really easy as well. Click on the picture, right click, and you change your picture to whatever one that you want. I'm going to go to my pictures file here and select one of my pictures and select insert. And that's all there is to it. Now I'm going to select the slideshow button at the bottom right here. Click on this so you can see how it's animated. And there we have it. So Microsoft has done a really good job by including lots of templates that have all sorts of different kinds of functionality. And all you have to do is go to File, New From Template, then select Picture from your keywords at the top, and you'll be presented with all sorts of different animations that you can use to make your PowerPoint presentation 3D and spectacular. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a thumbs up and a like, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments in the bottom. Cheers! In the Microsoft Office 2007 templates,